Wild Rocket, as with lots of other salad leafy greens, contains compounds that we refer to as phytochemicals. And these phytochemicals are compounds that only accumulate within plants and is extremely important to our health because it provides us with oxidative ability to combat the um, problems that free radicals could cause. People tend to enjoy eating wild rocket because of its peppery taste. And very few people know that this peppery taste is actually due to the phytochemicals that wild rocket accumulates. And when we use plants, for example, and we could gather antioxidants from our plant partners in the world, then we could potentially combat these uh, antioxidant or oxidative stress related diseases. I would be of the opinion that everyone can benefit from consuming wild rocket regardless. You don't have to um, have a disease, you don't have to be diagnosed with something. And part and parcel, in my opinion, of addressing malnutrition is by educating people on the health benefits of microgreens, the stage of the plant specifically. You can consume the wild rocket from the moment it germinates to the moment it's a microgreen, and a microgreen is very important, which is what I'm working on here. It has to contain about no more than six leaves. That's the best stage to consume the wild rocket in. But you can also consume it as a completely mature plant when the leaves are big. The best way to prepare it would be to eat it as raw and fresh as possible.